Okay, this will be the last part of this session. Hold up, I gotta go. I grab a quick pepper in. As the time alarm goes off, Amon returns to the lobby after a half hour absence. Having completed her instruction on the facing touches, she decided to hold a little, little examination at the very end to evaluate her students' capabilities. <笑>誰でも最初はうまくいかなくて当然なんだからそんなに緊張しなくてもいいのにそ、そうよねというわけで同意してくれた坂木さんから見させてもらうけどどう自分でうまくでき一応習った通りにやってみたつもりなのだけ
The instant Sachi timidly turns to face to face Amin and the others, there are four simultaneously exclamations on pure shock, then a long moment of silence. What's wrong? Rendered speechless by her skill? She's done that great a job. I like to see for I started to walk around the group to get a clear look at Sachi's face, but Amin quickly blocks my way. Why not exactly? Hmm? For whatever reason, sees this particular work isn't for my eyes. これも化粧の繊維。なるほど。in the end, Sachi has been forcibly carted off stage. The exact circumstances remain something of a mystery, but one thing is perfectly clear you can't take your eyes off your class rep for a second, or shouldn't at least. Incidentally, after this incident, Makino would never again express an interest in makeup. No in particular, just thought I'd take a walk to latitude 34 south, longitude 58 west or so. Everyone has their whimsical days, right? I'll get you you a souvenir. Such hateful words. It's a weekday afternoon, and here I was walking out of my out of a room to the jeers of a woman spurned. Seems that I may have be maybe something of a heartbreaker. I do appreciate that Amon's concerned about my nutrition, but the thing is, these meals have been getting out of hand lately. Just sitting back and watching the angels koa fishing going through the roof is going incre growing increasingly awkward. Guess I'll head to the rooftop. Anyway, today I feel like securing myself a place where I can eat in peace. Kazami-san? Uh, Roof, even I can if I eat plain rice balls with a side of baked beans or take a nice siesta, there shouldn't be anyone around tonight. Kazami -san? Kazami? Ne you Look, I told you to quit it with that na Um uh, Oh the does she see through the box that the two holes or that go over her head but okay I see a plain box a cat box and an orange box what the um I don't know how to describe what I'm looking at Turn around and find myself confronting a cardboard creature. Something resembling a maid uniform peeking out from below the massive boxes, but tragically giving my far from voluptuous vocabulary, I can't think of a more appropriate nomenclator. 
Sorry, but I don't have any cardboard creatures among my acquaintances. If you're not a cardboard creature, then what are you? That's why I'm saying. That fact, at a glance, you don't seem to be made of plastic. Now that you mention it, that voice does sound familiar. That's it. It's also possible that you're an imposter assuming the role of Sachi. You're not even going to ask why you picked them in particular? Anyway, in order to confirm that you're neither a spy nor an incar <laughs> incarnate avatar of cardboard, I'd like to ask you two or three questions. Excellent. Well then, first question. Did you hear that nickname you just used for s from someone in particular? Figured as much. Let's see. When's your birthday? Come to think of it, I didn't know Sachi's birthday in the first place. Oh well. How about your blood type? Didn't know that either. Okay, how about the color of your underwear today? <laughs> Where did you keep the underwear in question when it's not in use? Hmm. Fascinating as all of this is, part of question I had asked a single question that I can actually confirm the, the answer to. But judging from the unflinching aura of honesty and the way every response somehow makes the Asking the rude question feel awkward, but there's a little doubt that this is the genuine article. Very well, I accept you as such. You remove the underwear picture now. I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> this polite words of thanks to cardboard creature, or rather Sachi, bows to me. So I assume you're carrying all those cardboard boxes because someone asked you to. Hi. See, presumably you changed into the maid uniform because you were more comfortable working in it. Either way, carrying this massive pile of boxes around must be quite difficult even if the contents themselves are light. Um, offer encouragement, go to the roof. I'm just going to, I'm not going to help Sachi here. Like, I didn't help her first, I'm not going to help her again. If there was a third time, then maybe. Now you're used to this sort of job, but the more confident you are, the most likely careless accidents become. Try to stay on your toes, alright? Uh, no, I don't think that's called for right now. This six inch of pleasantries complete, Sachi wanders off towards the stairs, still puzzling for my words. Is she doing this on purpose? Looking back on all the conversation with the girl today, it's hard to believe anyone could be such a perfect airhead. Either way, I suppose almost every organization I had. As its loafers and its diligence sorts. And it's natural to rely on the hard work of the latter group. But I think the dichotomy at the school might be a little too stark. Feels like we're completely dependent on Sachi's efforts, might be something worth thinking about. <laughs> Sorry, but I don't, don't think I'm up for listening to you complaining about your life right now. Please try someone else. 
Also, in that case, you want me to help you trim the bonsai tree you started to raise in a futile attempt to relieve the crushing boredom of your existence. You find this exhausting? Personally, my heart throbs with refreshing joy every time I see your face. She's her. <laughs> Instead of responding, she heaves a wary sigh. So, did you need something? What the su suppliers don't bother to bring them in? So, there's a fee for bringing deliveries inside the building now? The world's becoming a cool place these days. Well, this school is, has a severe lack of males to help out with this sort of thing. If I refuse Sachi or no one of the others will probably end up getting priced into service in my place, volunteering is the most attractive option. Got it, I'll give you a hand. Nah, I'm just in the mood to earn something. Some of those nice pastries that have certain someone is always stocking up and using misappropriate appropriate school funds. I was born this way, I'm afraid. Try not to let it get to you. He wasn't born that, this way. He suffers directly. <laughs> For the moment, I coldly rejected Armin's goodwill and fled the classroom. It seems I was fated to carry things around one way or the other. And he drews crownly, nasally to herself. Not particularly pleasant to listen to, but then again, humming is one of the few forms of musical expression that exists solely for the satisfaction of the performer. I need to move this. Um, where do I move this to? Okay. I'll just leave it here. I need to move some stuff out of the way. Sometimes it's natural natural outflowing of happiness in a moment of relaxation but other times it's an attempt to calm the nerves in a moment of crushing stress crushing stress i don't know which psychological state has given rise to meet your song but i do know how i can solely manipulate her mood <laughs> I <laughs> speak behind me through softly synchronizing my voice with her song. How does she? And now I begin to gradually alter the melody, keeping every individual chain small enough that she won't catch on. How does she not hear the lower voice compared to her higher voice? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't. I'm not going to have this. <laughs> Ichiro spins around flustered. Her face reveals sheer, uncomprehensible bewilderment. But I slowly changing my upbeat melody into a grim funeral march, I guided her own... Own song down the same dark path, but my victim clearly doesn't realize this was my doing. Yeah, something the matter. <laughs> How do you not notice? Oh, that's a pity. By altering your song, making it darker and more grimmer. Anything? Who? Me? Like what? <sighs> Despite its inherent subtle nature, so plainly manipulation 
of this sort of it can dramatically influence human behavior for its effective for its effects of the subconscious. Me, I'm more of a persona type for the subconscious mind. Not really of the fruit and of grace yet, kind of subconscious. For example, I can persistently hold the eye contact with me through as we speak. This can be mildly intimidating in its own right, but the effect increases significantly when I wait for her to blink before doing the same. Quickly opening my eyelids before her, Andrew would soon be under the illusion that I never blink. What's more, it's a very rare for anyone to consciously notice this is taking place. Instead of nagging sense of unease grows in the back of their mind. Use enough of these tricks and outright psychological manipulation is possible, but the time the humming game proves su sufficient for my objective of screwing with me here. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. You really have to be more specific. What are you accusing me of? Nature <laughs> jabs her forefinger in my direction, her eyes moldering with aggression. Why well, get so bent out of shape over something like this? True, but that's not a good thing, you know. Someone once said that relationships are like a mirror. Yes, that's how mirrors usually work. Your pro approach seems to involve repeatedly bashing your head against the glass, planning to go to looking glass land. Just as you know, you know Humpty Dumpty currently sitting in and a cart carton in my fridge. Alright, I'll give you the short version. Adrian, you tend to treat others with all the friendly friendlessness and charm of a lollipop sucking brat who's just being denied a new toy. Okay. Of course you can. Mm, that's it's called accepting the darker halves of yourself, the part that you keep on rejecting. Accept your shadow. <laughs> Again, I like I like Persona. I've been watching it a lot recently, <laughs> and I really like the game. I want to get Persona 5 right now and play it, but sadly I can't record it because it's not on Steam. It's only for a PlayStation 4 and 3, but since my roommate's using the PlayStation 3 for Netflix, I have to get it for PlayStation 4, which I had planning to do so later. Be sure shadow boxes in my general direction while making little kapow sounds. <laughs> kapow! <laughs> Seems she has no idea what a rolling sobot actually is. Where the heck does she come from? <laughs> what is this, bionic woman? <laughs> Training is it? What do you have in mind? Akina, my friend, you seem to have equated numerical multiplication with sticking people together. Are you sure the same rules apply? I think Mitra is gonna die. <laughs> Are you playing on literally trying the literally try, tying them to each other with rope or what? 
might prove a little tricky, I suppose. Gluing them together with phenomic <laughs> resin is also an option. Makina swiftly circles behind me through and delivers a sharp karate chop to the back of her head. Was she copy copying the penguins of Madagascar? <laughs> about this Hoichi you keep mentioning friend Hoichi you keep mentioning friend of yours why should I <laughs> I can't help doing the expressions. Especially when you put your head up, your face looks so hilarious. I'm laughing at myself. <laughs> That's pure friction. You're not going to knock anyone out that way unless you get the angle absolutely perfect. You can then misjudge the force and you can end up doing inseparable damage. It's not something you should try at home. Well, I guess I could could have been quicker about telling you yourself. Telling you myself. Well, I'm sure you you heard that a blow in the to the abdomen could be practically effective, but. But as I say, you shouldn't attack someone's vital points for no good reason. You're running the risk of causing lasting harm. <laughs> so, multiple karate chops on the back of the neck, and a solid punch in the in the stomach. Ana Makina. Not as though Mitru intentionally drained all color from her face. She's surprisingly experiencing temporary breathing out problems as a result of a sharp impact to her abdomen. Don't you have something to say to her? I think she's trying to tell us something as she isn't currently capable of speak speech. We should read her lips. Even under violent torture, her sedentary spirit remains unbroken. You must admit the girl has guts. Come on, Makina, you've given her a pretty good beating already. I hardly think there's any need to render her unconscious, is there? Come 
some of that sachi here is good, you better run. <laughs> Speaking of which, why is Mitra still here? She should be running right now <laughs> because Sachi's here. <laughs> Sasuke stares fixedly at Mitru, apparently puzzling over the best way to make her faint. When did just temporary suffocation or chlorophyll be a better choice? Of course, Sachi's the fine characteristic is willing willingness to use any means necessary to achieve her end, and as Mitru is well aware. バルのようなものでこじ開けてみましょう。ロコ、私のロコ。頭です。では、皆さん少々お待ちください。バルのようなものを用意させていただきますので、そうすれば嬉しい旅でちょっと気絶するはずです。ああ。大丈夫。大